your top five news stories for today. One, Trump's guidelines to reopen the economy leave decision up to the governors. Two, Trump says coronavirus means U.S. sports will resume without fans. Three, Dr. Oz believes schools should be open despite the risks. Four, Denver Broncos linebacker Von Miller, former Super Bowl MVP, tests positive for COVID-19. And number five, Maryland police remind residents to wear full pants to go to the mailbox and violators will be fined. April 17, 1961. Hundreds of Cuban exiles trained by the CIA invade Cuba's Bay of Pigs, trying to topple Fidel Castro from power. But the invasion fails, a political embarrassment for President John F. Kennedy just months after taking office. This was a struggle of Cuban patriots against a Cuban dictator. While we could not be expected to hide our sympathies, we made it repeatedly clear that the armed forces of this country would not intervene in any way. 1970, the three astronauts of Apollo 13 splashed down safely in the Pacific Ocean, days after a ruptured oxygen tank crippled their spacecraft on their way to the moon. 1790, Benjamin Franklin, author, publisher, inventor, and one of America's most famous founding fathers, dies in Philadelphia at age 84. 1837, J.P. Morgan, a financial giant in American capitalism during the late 19th and early 20th centuries, is born in Hartford, Connecticut. And 1964, an automotive legend is born. Ford rolls out its sporty new convertible, the Mustang, at the New York World's Fair. It's an instant hit. Today in History, April 17th, David Melendi, The Associated Press. Today's weather outlook will have a high of 52 with a low of 33. Saturday will have a high of 65 with a low of 47. And Sunday will have a high with 67. Here's how you can make your own face covering in a few easy steps with items you can find around the house, like an old scarf, a bandana or a hand towel, or you can make a face covering out of an old t-shirt. Fold it to the middle from the bottom, fold it to the middle from the top, fold it again to the middle from the bottom, and again from the top, and then two rubber bands, one on one side and one on the other side. Then you fold either side to the middle and you have yourself cloth face covering. It's that easy. We know that we're asking Americans to do a lot right now. So we're asking everyone to be selfless for others so that we can protect those who are most susceptible to this virus. A question I often get asked is why should young people care about the spread of coronavirus? Well, we know that people with underlying medical conditions over the age of 60 are at highest risk, but they've got to get it from somebody. Social distancing is really physical separation of people 
It's what we refer to when we ask people to say at least six feet apart. Not going to bars, not going to restaurants, not going to theaters where there are a lot of people. It all just means physical separation so that you have a space between you and others who might actually be infected or infect you. We all have a role to play in preventing person-to-person -person spread of this disease, which can be deadly for vulnerable groups. For more information on how you can social distance, please go to coronavirus.gov.